everyone, it's Frank here. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're heading back in the Remac uh, today, so we got uh, two, there's a couple reasons for that. Um, we've been in the Remac before, it's just a really cool mine, it goes down 3,000 feet. We got some pretty awesome videos of, of uh, a bunch of places in the Remac. Um, so what happened uh, this year was uh, there was a big forest fire that uh, went right to the top of the Remac, it was about 400 hectares, and it burnt right to the top of the Remac. And why that's important is it's the biggest known uh, bat hibernating site in BC. Uh, there was 3,000 bats logged going in there for one day, so um, yeah, the fire is out now, so we're going to go and see what kind of damage maybe it did to the bats. We haven't found out where all the bats actually live. It's a huge mine, so we're going to go check that out. And uh, so Ben's coming with me, and he's, uh, he's got no fear. He just climbs straight up and down everywhere. So anyway, so, so uh, we're going to take Ben in there. What we're going to do is we're going to take a carbide lamp. We're going to show you how a carbide lamp works, and we're going to use a carbide lamp underground. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And uh, there's also, there's two shafts there. We went down one shaft that went down 1,000 feet to the main level. We took uh, our ropes and went all the way down there. Um, there's another shaft that we've never been down. It's fairly plugged, and it's a number two shaft. So we're, me and Ben are going to go down the number two shaft and see where that goes. We've never been down there. So we're going to check that out. With the calcium carbide lamps, so we're going to show you how they work. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of these carbide lamps here. And this is the one that works. And what ends up happening with these guys is there's a real small little orifice in them, so just with all these other ones, they don't have that orifice that works. So this one, it does work. So, But basically the lamp is really simple. You just uh, you just unscrew the bottom part. Um, and this is where the, where the carbide goes in. And this is what carbide looks like. It just kind of lumps. And what it does is it makes acetylene gas. So this is very hard to get in Canada, uh, because basically you can make a bomb out of it. If, uh, Use a little bit of imagination. I can smell the sunlight already because it's a little damp. Stinky stuff. So, you just put the carbide in there. And, uh, and you just put a little bit of water in the top part. Now, miners are running out of water on the ground and pissed in there and it works. But we're not going to do that. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, yeah, so you stick that on there. And then this, this lamp has just got an on and off. And so we're just set it in the middle. And what happens is, is, is the water just drips. I'll show you actually. The water drips like that. It uh, mixes with the calcium carbide and it makes acetylene gas. Um, so normally you just, you would, if I had a flint today, you just turn that and light it. But um, we'll, just have a, we'll just cheat here. Let's use this lighter. So there you go. And that's all there is to it. This actually gets really warm. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, like I say, it doesn't really throw off a whole lot of light. You can kind of see it. It's a little better than a candle. You know, it's not really hot, but it makes a pretty black flame. And, uh, we'll take it underground and we'll show you how, you know, you see writing and stuff. And, yeah, there's nothing very complicated about the damn light. Um, they use them, uh, they're just a little bit of a step up from candles. So, originally they had these candles before calcium carbide lamps, and then they, have these in their hats and you just lift a candle or whatever and then you obviously this is better because a little bit more light and uh, you know it lasts for quite a while and the other thing about these is they had a the miners had a little hip flask this is a just right flask and this little container you pull full of carbide and you stick it in your back pocket when you go to work and that's enough carbide to get you through a whole shift so uh, yeah pretty simple they're not worth a whole pile of money you can buy these on ebay for as little as 20 bucks you know, there's some more rare types and stuff, but um, yeah, that's uh, basically all there is to it. So uh, we'll head underground and we'll show you um, how much light it uh, throws out in the mine, and uh, we'll do some graffiti with it.
running out and the user life hey, streets infected and crawled in the slime the neon nightmare is about to unwind four of us going in here today so we never usually go with more than a couple guys. Lots of guys carry ropes. All right, so this is old school carbide lamp. So like you see, it doesn't produce a lot of light. She's pretty, pretty dark in here. Um, probably there's more light from that camera than there is from this light. But um, lots of places when we're underground, you see these uh, that black writing on the wall from carbide. And we're just going to show you how that works. We're going to try it. We'll see if we can do a little graffiti <laughs> on the wall here. Should put a block. Oh yeah, there we go. Explore about our minds. Yeah. So that's it, the old school carbide. Are you finding it okay? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. It'll be easy going up if you can take one of the senders. I, I don't know, are those guys coming down or no? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what his plan is, but it'll be tougher going up without the sender, eh? With the sender, it's easier, eh? Yeah, but here's not bad. Yeah. Oh, there's moths here. That goes around, right? Level number one here, so. Hey, Willie, are you guys going to come down or no? Did you say, I don't know. Yeah, he's on the way. Okay, we'll stay out of the way here. Yeah, there's ladders from here on down. I don't really do it. But... Yeah, it's too bad I didn't bring that paint because we just kind of made a mark on each one of these levels just for fun. Oh, there's a bat. There. Yeah, right there. It looks like a Townsend's. Right there. Rock and roll. All right, so we were, we were at the second level. I got some paint, so we're just gonna mark all these levels. This is number two, big landing here. Pretty nice looking rock in here. As you can see, beautiful calcites and stuff in here. Look at the angle, looks pretty cool. Got some explosive boxes here, parts of thereof. And there's a, Explosive rod and it carries on there. So we see some bats and stuff in here. A few here and there. That's not a bat. I thought I saw a bat here somewhere. And then, um, yeah, we're right on the edge of this big stove. There's a CIL box, explosive box. And we'll have a peek down here and see how far down the, the stope is looking down this way. Oh, somebody made a little a nook trip there. Oh yeah. Oh there you can see daylight way up there. Kind of a bit of a ledge there, but not going anywhere. That is a long ways down. I wonder if I should put one of these ladders up, but I don't know if the fucking things would be rotten or what. There's a stack of ladders here. Oh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't look bad. 
Okay. Oh, she made her long way it's down. Doesn't sound that far down, does it? Well, there, there's got to be another level down there yet. Yeah, here, here comes another one. Small one. Yeah. Yeah, it does sound like it stops not far, I guess. I, uh, yeah, or even go down, just drop it, right? just drop it down there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This rope's going to start to thin ass in this way because it's so fucking rubbery. So it's hard to feed the, the rope down easy? Yeah. It's like a three percent. It's something like a three percent stretch, right? So what? So what you usually do is just tie it off. You can tie it to something and it resets it. But right now we got probably a hundred and almost hundred twenty feet of stretch there. <laughs> number three, you didn't seem that much further down to number three, probably only. I'm not really sure how many feet it was, it wasn't that far. Uh, there's a tunnel going two ways. Yeah, okay. There we go. station here. Let's watch the monkey come down here. Reusable drill bits. They're all rusty. You know, explosive box. Oh yeah, we got tunnels going everywhere now. Oh, look at them explosive boxes. What? Is that a different incline there? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's another incline chat there. I've never seen that before. I wonder how that goes. Huh. Must do, go to another stop level or something. Mm -hmm. That's weird. That just ends there, right? Nice shape, eh? Oxy gel, that's explosive. No bottom to it, but. Yeah. This is per perforated shell, that's really nice, eh? Shame it's down. Gonna be a long ways down there to grab it, but. Oxy gel, perforated shells. Hmm. Explosives, that's a nice box. I don't know if I want to grab it or not. <laughs> we can try to take it out. Yeah. Let's 
kind of strange. It goes, looks like just kind of a sub-level. I don't understand where that would have went to. Now, the dangers of falling down here. I guess this is dangerous. Probably not going to happen. There's something kind of orange up there. Maybe it's just... Uh, I don't know if that's stain or what. Huh. Oh, there's a ledge here. See there, you can see like three levels going through. That looks pretty cool. It's a long ways down. So you've never seen that before. It's a drift tight. Uh, this is James Island. Manufactured by Canadian Industries Limited, CIL. So that's not that old. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Almost like a beehive. Like a beehive, there. Yeah. Really crumpy. Yeah, that's an interesting formation for sure. Oh yeah, just softy. Number four is not very extensive, this one. Number three had most of the interesting stuff in it. It's kind of dusty in here, I guess. Probably from us throwing them rocks down. Kind of got the dust going there, so we won't do that anymore. We're not gonna be able to breathe. Yeah, we find ourselves at number five, and it's really a short little level. Really dusty in the slope here, so we threw them rocks down there and just made a hell of a not much air moving around here at all. Made it dustier than hell. So that's another good reason why not throw rocks down. <laughs> Stopes, but it's a little dusty here, not too bad. Right. Getting dustier. <laughs> so it must have gone close to the bottom, I would think, because the rocks went down there and it just disturbed all the dust and stuff on there and it's just not blowing it out of there. So there we are, we're at the end of this. This is as far as this uh, pass goes. It doesn't go any further. Um, there's a lot more mine blows though. Um, kind of dusty in here, but I'll throw this anyways. Here we go. The bigger one would be better, make more dust. Uh, Long, long ways down. Long ways down. Big stoke. But uh, as far as we're getting, it actually worked out good for the rope because that's all the rope we got too. So, and, uh, yeah, it's not that it's plugged in here. It's just uh, that's as far as it went. So this is down here just for the guys to work on. And we're looking up. To where Ben is, and we're gonna start the trip back up. Climbing back up this side. The river is about 600 feet down there, so this is the one section that has ladders. Kind of nice, you can make good time on the ladders. And we're just gonna watch the student here as he climbs up. <laughs> Actually, yeah. He's uh, pretty good. I think he'll free climb stuff that I would use. But that'd be squeamish on. I don't have to wait very long for him. Ben's a pretty good climber. But uh, I give him one of my ascenders, so it's just a lot safer. I mean, it's not like I couldn't make it up here without an ascender. But uh, it's just a lot safer. You never know when you're going along here. You know, one of them runs will break on you or whatever. And you uh, go sliding down. Uh, once you start falling, it'll be hard to catch yourself if you start cartwheeling down there. 
so it's just a lot safer. Well, the things that you see when you don't have a fire handy, eh? Look at all the blasting caps underneath that board. doesn't do any good because they're electric blasting caps. You need a big fire. Oh, they're yeah, those are electric. This is danger something. Keep out. You know, this is. Well, that certainly sounds like a good idea. Just have the one to the right to go, I guess, eh? We're at the middle level here at the Remac there, and it's kind of a uh, kind of cool because we're kind of checking out any damage this fire done, and uh, it doesn't seem to be anywhere. At uh, first, so I thought this pink was from uh, fire return, but I don't think it is. It's just the way it always is. But uh, the trees didn't actually burn around the mine. You can see just across. On the other side where the hydro line is, I had the fire there. So. Alright, so we're just going to take a wander down into this stope here. And, uh, well, there's kind of a ledge down here. Not really steep, but, yeah, it's pretty easy walking down here. We got my brake here, so I can just walk down. Yeah, I can walk down the field at the same time, be safe. Pretty good drop if you Yeah, pretty be decent stope in here, so. It goes down pretty good. We're just gonna, that's that section that we were at before. Where everyone goes to. The only way she goes, big hole. <coughs> we're gonna walk across to where we were looking down there. I don't know if you necessarily want to go down here. I don't see any tunnels or nothing. Well, there's a compartment going down to a lower level there. And we're just kind of looking around this uh, stove here, so... Looks pretty cool from here. <coughs> we may have been to that level right across there. Hard to tell. Pretty stunning uh, view from here. Or it might have been way down there, where we were actually pouring, probably more likely. I may never have seen those levels there. <laughs> I can see the light there flashing. I can see your light. That yeah, looks kind of cool. You can come down if you want. I don't know. There's, there's no tunnels or nothing here. There's a, a shaft going down. Pretty steep. Even just a small rock makes a pretty good noise. I kind of thought we would find the top of this shaft. A little disappointing. We can't. Okay. Nope. Just a hole going straight down. <laughs> now we're kind of wondering now where the top of that other shaft actually goes. Hmm. That's our compartment. We just threw that rock down. What a nice view from here. 
Not that much higher than the main entrance where you come in there. That's where we flew the airplane down. Hit the side of the rock there. So, no, well, that's interesting. So now, we still don't know. We're at the top of that number one shaft. It goes. Another. Must be some more crosscut levels in here somewhere. It doesn't pop out here, which is what we were expecting. Yeah. We could have climbed down this way. It would have been pretty easy, actually. Not really that steep. A little bit slippery, though. No problem if you got the right rigging. Climb up with her. That's a rig. Doesn't even look that steep going down there. So that other shaft. Yeah, I don't know. Must be on the other side somewhere. Below us maybe. Hard to tell. Yeah, we're just gonna hook her. The sun drop and we'll head back up. Yeah, well, this is the very top of the there's a bend down there. This is the very top of the remac, the top level. And we kind of climbed in all these holes here. And um, we still didn't find the top of that shaft. That's where the bat monitor was. It's gone now, we took it away. Yeah, so I guess we have no choice but to climb back down this pretty steep little area. Get back to where Ben is. Remember, it's always trickier going down than it was going up. But I didn't think it was that bad, so. Worst come to worst, I just gotta let go of the camera. <laughs> and it'll go crashing at the bottom of the mine. Me, hopefully. Alright, there's lots of rat shit here, so the rats can make it up and down here. So. I should be fine too. Now, it's difficult when you're filming like this to see how steep something is. Yeah, it's pretty tough getting across there. I don't know if there'd be any other levels there. Pretty steep right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're just gonna. The easiest way seems to be just kind of hug that wall. We're only gonna go down below that other pillar there, so. I'm hoping we get down there. Tick tock, cut to the chase. Time's running out, and they're using love.